Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to dive into creating custom brushes in Affinity Designer. So, let's get started. I will create a new document of any size. Then, I will create a new category for my brushes. I will name this category, my brushes. In Affinity Designer, we can create three types of brushes. The first one is a solid brush. To create one, open the brush menu and click on new solid brush and the brush is created. It's just a simple round brush. To edit the brush, right click on it and click on edit brush. We can change the brush width. Using the size variance, we can control the width of the endpoints of our brush stroke. Similarly, using the opacity variance, we can control the opacity of the endpoints of our brush stroke. This drop down here is for changing the brush controller. By default, it is set to pressure. That means both size and opacity variance will work with a pressure control device like a graphic pen. The second type of brush is the textured intensity brush. To create this type of brush, we need an image with a black background in PNG format. I will quickly create one for demonstration. Feel free to create your own or download from the internet. I will save this as a PNG. Now open the brush menu and click on new textured intensity brush. Then select the PNG image we saved earlier and the textured intensity brush is created. We can also edit the brush settings. If we change the body property of the brush from stretch to repeat, it will create a repeating pattern of the brush stroke. Corners determine the method used to control how corners are drawn within the stroke. Using the head and tail offset, we can control the starting and ending points of the stroke from our image. The third type of brush in designer is the textured image brush. This is like the image brush in Affinity Photo. We need a PNG image with a transparent background for better results. If we use a non-transparent image, it will look weird like this. I will quickly remove the background of the image we created earlier for the intensity brush and change these stroke colors to black. To make the background transparent, I will open this image in Affinity Photo. Then go to Document and click on Transparent Background. Export it in a PNG format. Now, open Affinity Designer and open the Brush menu and click on New Textured Image Brush. Select the transparent PNG image created and the image brush is created. You cannot change the color of the textured image brush. And that's it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful tutorials and tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.